Hey guys, Rhonda Draculas here, RK3 Designs, and today we're gonna do a comparison. I've had so many people tell me they can't find alcohol, 91% alcohol. So they wanna know, what are my alternatives? So today we're gonna do a comparison. We're gonna compare alcohol to acetone and Everclear. And we're gonna fracture this out and see what we get. I'm gonna take epoxy that I've tinted with just plain white dye from Alumalite. It's their opaque white dye. And what I'm using is the Stone Coat Countertop Regular Epoxy. I'm just gonna pour it out on our sample board. I'll trial it out. But now I like to use my hands. I can get a feel of the epoxy and also I can take it and wrap my hands around so that I make sure that epoxy flows over those edges and gives me a nice pretty edge. Okay, so I've spread it out. We're gonna lightly torch. Now in this comparison, we're gonna take just plain white epoxy. We're not gonna do any creative finishes underneath because I really want this to draw the attention to the fracturing technique that we're gonna do on top. I've had the best luck when I let the epoxy set for about 20 minutes before I try to do any type of fracturing, which is where I spray black or any other color spray paint on the top, and then I hit it with the alcohol. Okay, so for our first comparison, we're gonna use 70% isopropyl alcohol. Now I've never really had much luck with the 70%, but we're gonna try it here today. I've got regular gloss black spray paint, and I'm just gonna do a small section. We're gonna fog it. I'm gonna fog it pretty opaquely, because I really wanna get a good uh, finish so we can show you guys. I'm gonna come back with the 70%. All right, no matter what we're using, we don't want to use a lot of alcohol on our surface because what will happen, we'll get a really pretty uh, design, but then that design, if we have too much alcohol, will just kind of fade away and it'll almost look like it's smeared and it'll run off the edge. All right, so that was 70%. This is 99%, same paint. Okay, acetone. I've never really used acetone much as a fracturing agent, but we're fixing to see how it works. Okay, so our last comparison is gonna be with Everclear, 190 proof. You can get that at your local liquor, liquor store. I can't seem to say that. Okay, so we've been uh, letting this, this has been sitting about, oh, I guess five minutes maybe. This is the 70% alcohol. So I'm, I'm really kind of liking this. It seems to be a little bit lighter as far as the pattern. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put some big drops here and I'm gonna see it's been a little while since I've sprayed the paint. I wanna see what happens now when I come back and add more alcohol. It seems to still want to fracture. And then also a lot of times we'll want to come back and add more spray paint. So let's see how that works. We'll add a little bit of spray paint here in the corner. And we're gonna refracture this and see how well it refractures. All right, so it looks like it's refracturing really well. And it's keeping, a, and I have it set at about a medium mist. So we're still getting some, some um, designs. Now where we're really gonna be able to tell is after about 30, 45 minutes, we're gonna be able to tell how all this is gonna settle out. So we'll definitely take a look at that as well. So our 99% is really giving us some neat patterns here. But let's see what happens if we come back 
and refracture. So we're gonna come in this little area right here. We're gonna add a little more paint and we're gonna refracture that and see if it'll let us refracture. All right, so it's not actually refracturing that well. I'm gonna add a little bit bigger drops. So what I'm noticing is that we're getting a lot of run type of a pattern. So I'm really, I'm really liking so far. Now I really like this, this place right here because it's very defined. The pattern is very, very defined and I really like that. It looks like little flowers actually. All right, so here, now we've come to the acetone. The acetone, it seems that it's, it's got a smaller fracture pattern to it. And I, I mean, it's, it's got a really pretty, a pretty pattern as well. Now I am gonna spray. I'm gonna come, maybe we'll come right here and we're gonna see about how it does with refracturing. Okay, now it's not really wanting to refracture too good. We're gonna add a little bit in our hands. Now, you're not gonna wanna do this with rubber gloves, which is what I have on, so I'm gonna have to change my gloves. And these are just the little cheap gloves. I'm still thinking I like the alcohol a little better than I like the acetone. But honestly, guys, I think my very favorite so far is the Everclear. Look at the pattern. And it seems like this pattern is really wanting to stay. I like it. It seems to be very, uh, very cohesive. All the, the little fractures designs are about the same size. Let's see what happens when we refracture this. And this seems to really let you refracture. Okay, so I guess I'll let you guys make the decision. We're gonna come back now and kind of go back through it here again. We refractured the 70% alcohol. This is the refracturing here where we added more to the surface. And you can see that it's really starting to kind of meld out and get very soft. Kind of the same thing here. When we refracture or re-added paint here, it really didn't want to open up. So we're going to try to see if we can open this up a little bit. And we're having a really hard time doing that. So the original fracturing was really good. It seems like when you want to go back maybe and add if you had a mistake or you wanted to add a little bit more color, that's where you're having um, a little bit of issue. Up here, we may have gotten just a little bit too much alcohol on the surface and that's why this is really kind of running and getting kind of a smear. Now this is what I was trying to explain to you guys. If you put too much alcohol on the surface, you'll get this type of pattern where your pattern really runs and all kind of melds together. So that was the 99%. This is the acetone. Now acetone did not seem to want to refracture very well at all. So we added more paint and tried to get uh, it to refracture and it really didn't do well at all. But I'm gonna come right now since it's been sitting for a few minutes and I'm gonna see what happens now when we try to refracture. So it's not doing anything at all. And here we come back to the Everclear. I'm really still loving the original fracture pattern that it gave us. I really like that. This is where we added more paint. I'm gonna hit it one more time with, uh, with the Everclear and see what it does. Now see, this is allowing us to still go back and refracture. So I'm still able to go back with just a little bit more and refracture an area. I really like that characteristic of that in case there was an area I didn't like and I wanted to go back and fix it. I like the fact that it's letting us do that. 70% alcohol right now seems to be a little bit more of readily available to everyone than the 91 or the 99. Plus your 70% alcohol is gonna be a lot less expensive than your 91 or even your 99. Your 99 can run upwards of $30 a gallon. So that's 
pretty expensive when you're talking about doing a lot of uh, uh, boards or a big surface. All right, so your acetone, I'm not hating the, the effects it gives by any means, but I'm not loving it. So, but the good thing about acetone is it's readily available. We can get it at any of our big box stores, Walmart, anything like that, uh, and it's fairly inexpensive. So, perhaps my very favorite is the Everclear. I really like this pattern. I like the fact that the pattern's really staying together. The only drawback is that Everclear, once again, is pretty expensive and uh, not as easily uh, available. And obviously, if you're under 21, you're not gonna be able to buy it. Okay, guys, so what did you think about this little experiment? What is your favorite? Leave me a comment and let me know. I think my favorite is gonna be a toss-up between the actual 70% alcohol. I really like how the fractures uh, were petite, kind of. They, they stayed together, I really like that. And then I love, I think my actually my very favorite is the Everclear. I like the way that the, um, the paint held together and gave me a more distinct pattern. I really, really like that. All of these finishes would definitely work and just depending on what look you're going for. Acetone obviously is the easiest for us to get. We now know that we can use acetone. 99% is a lot harder to get, more expensive, but we know that it works as well. Check out our website, rk3designs.com, book your class, and check out our online store. So until next time, remember, don't be scared, move forward, and be creative.